In this video, I'm going to show you how to completely customize and embed Instagram feeds into your WordPress websites. We're going to be using Smash Balloon here, so you can head over to smashballoon.com. And if you like, we can look at the different plugins that are offered here. I'm going to come down and look at Instagram feed, and they have some demos here. Let's take a look at what we can do with the plugin. Right here, we have the standard demo, and you can see how beautiful it looks already. It's just the default embedded into your website with all the information. We have a hashtag option here. So if you'd like, you can create your own custom Instagram feeds into your page based on a specific hashtag. You have custom, so you can completely customize the look and feel of your Instagram feed. So you can see that this looks quite clean and beautiful. And carousel, as well as highlight, masonry, and social wall. In this video, we're going to be looking at carousel. And I'm just going to set up a simple contact page for a fashion blog. And at the bottom, we'll add a nice simple carousel where we'll hide most of the data. I just want to show you how you can customize that. So again, I'm going to be using Instagram Feed Pro. So we will need an account. You can go ahead and click on Get the Plugin and set up your account. Once you have an account, let's click on Login. On the right-hand side, you can enter your username or email address, your password, and click Login. Once you're logged into your account, you can click on the Downloads tab. It's a second from the left. And here we can see our license key here. I'm going to go ahead and copy this, as well as download the Instagram Feed Pro plugin here. Great. Once you have that, you can log into your WordPress website. So here I am in the admin area. And on the left hand side, we have plugins and we'll go to add new. Let's go to upload plugin and I'm going to choose the file that I just downloaded. Here's the Instagram feed pro plugin and I'm going to go ahead and click install now. Let's go ahead and activate the plugin and on the installed plugins page, let's click on settings. Great. Now on the left hand side, we should see Instagram feed here. Let's go to Instagram feed and settings and you can paste your license key right here. Click activate and there you go. Next, we need something to work with. So what I'm going to be using is Seedprod. And Seedprod is the number one WordPress website builder. So there's no coding involved. And we can quickly import pre-made websites or create our own websites from scratch. Again, I'm going to be using the pro version. So you can click on Get Seedprod now. Set up an account. And once you have an account, you can click on Login. On the left-hand side, you can enter your email address, your password, and click Login. Once you're logged in, I'm going to click Downloads, the second tab from the left here, and click Download Seedprod Pro. And here in the bottom left hand corner, we need the license key. I can click this icon to copy that to clipboard. We can go ahead and close this tab. Now again, on the left hand side, we have plugins and add new. And we can upload a plugin and choose file. I selected the seed prod zip file and I'll click install now. Let's go ahead and activate the plugin and I'll paste that license key right here and verify key. You should see a green success message. Great. On the left hand side, we see seed prod now. Let's go to the theme builder and we'll click on theme template kits. Now you can do a search for the theme. I'm going to be using the photography website theme right here. You can preview what it looks like. I'm just going to import this right now by hitting the check mark. And this will import all of the theme template files that you need for this website. On the top hand corner, we can see enable seed prod theme. Make sure we turn this on and we'll click OK and OK. Now if we preview the website, you can see that we imported a photography website theme, which looks great. There is a photo gallery here that you need to set up, but what we want to do is go to the contact page here. And if we scroll to the bottom, we have a placeholder here for the Instagram feed. So I'm just going to import this feed right here. Let's go ahead and set that up. Back inside of the WordPress admin on the left hand side, we have Instagram feed and all feeds. Let's click here and we're going to create your first feed by clicking on add new. Here we have a user timeline. You can do the public hashtag, tagged post or social wall. I'm going to be using the user timeline and we'll click on next. Now here you need to add a source. So this will connect your own personal or business Instagram account. Let's go ahead and add a source. And here you can select the account type for personal or business. And then you can connect an Instagram account. I'm already logged into my account. So we'll go ahead and log in with Instagram. And here you'll see a message to connect your Smash Balloon account to your personal or business Instagram account. Let's go ahead and allow. And here I can see a security confirmation to confirm that this is my website. And I will say yes, it is my domain. Great, so you can feel free to go ahead and add more sources if you like. I'm going to select the account that I just connected and we'll click on next. Here I can see a message that Instagram does not provide us access to your profile picture or bio. I'm just going to say no for now. And here we can start with a template. We have the default, simple grid, simple grid, extra large, simple row, carousel, masonry, card grid, etc. I'm going to go with the simple carousel for this option and we'll click on next. As you can see, you have many options here. Here you have a couple helpful pop ups. So embedding a feed. Over here, you can change your feed layout color scheme or customize individual feed sections. And of course, you can update your feed source, filter your posts, or change advanced settings here. So here's a preview of the Instagram feed that we can see. We can see the desktop version. We have a tablet version and a small mobile device. On the left-hand side, we have custom and settings. So let's start with customs. 
and we have the template, which we already selected. We're using the simple carousel here. We also have the feed layout. So we have the grid, carousel, masonry, or highlight. I'm going to be using the carousel here. For the carousel settings, you can change how many rows you want to show, one or two. The loop type, rewind or infinite. The interval time, so how much time is between it going automatically to one section to another. If you want to show the navigation arrows, so these are the little arrows right here. If you want to show the pagination, so if I turn that off, that's the dots at the bottom. I'm actually going to keep those off. And here's the autoplay. Right now I have it turned off, so it won't change by itself. You can actually click and drag these if you like, or use the arrows as well. At the bottom, we have the feed height, the padding, that's the space in between each thumb. We also have the number of posts you want to show on desktop, mobile, and the column. So you can increase that or make it smaller if you like. So here we go. We can put five. We can change that for tablet and mobile as well. Let's click on customize to come back. Here we have the color scheme. Right now I'm inheriting from the theme itself. You can change that to light, dark, or custom if you like. Here you have the option for the custom palette under custom for background text, text to link button one and button two. I'm just going to continue to inherit from theme. We can click customize to come back. If we come down, we have the sections here. So we have header. That's the text right here. Again, I already have a header here for Instagram, so I don't want to use the built-in one. So I'm just going to click header. You can see the different options here for the header style, the text itself, size, and color. For me, I just want to disable this completely. Again, I'm creating a simple feed here. Here, I'm going to click on customize and come back to the post itself. And here we have the post style. So we have boxed or regular. So you can see a little white box around these or regular. We also have the images and videos. So this will auto detect or you can select a different thumbnail if you like. We have the caption itself. Again, I want to keep this simple, but you can truncate the text here if you like. Right now it's set to 50 characters and then it'll cut it off. You have the text size if you want to increase that or decrease it as well as the color. So you can completely customize the look and feel of this. For me, again, I just want it nice and simple. So I'm going to disable this completely and come back to posts. We also have the like and comment summary. We can click here. So that's the hearts and the comments here. Again, the size and the color is available. I'm going to turn this off. So now we just have the information here that is on hover, which you can keep if you like. Let's go to posts and we have the hover state. Here we have the background color. So you can see it's a gray color when you hover. We can actually change that. Maybe you have a blue color scheme. For the website that we're using, it's just a simple black and white. So this actually makes sense for us. But for example, if you had maybe a blue color scheme, you can select blue and you can change how intense that is. So for example, you could go a full color if you want, but we probably want some type of opacity there on the hover. I think black with a little bit of opacity on it looks good. You can also change the color of the text here as well. So right now it's by default white, but for example, you could change that to a different color. Here we have the information to display. Again, I'm just going to keep this very simple. No likes, no caption. I'll show the Instagram icon so it looks nice and clean. And I think that looks good. And people can click through and see the photo on Lightbox. Or we can disable that to go right to Instagram. Let's click on posts and come back. And I think we went through everything. Let's click on customize and come back further. And here we have the load more button. Let's go ahead and click on that. So here you can change the text for load more. You have the color. And you have the infinite scroll. For me, again, I'm just going to disable this for now, but just know that these features are here. We also have the follow button. So this might be a great way to get people to follow you. For me, I'm just interested in having them look at the photos themselves. This is a photography website. And if you use the light box or to click through, they should see more information about your Instagram account either way. So here we have follow on Instagram. So you can customize this, the look of the button for the background, the hover state and text. For me, I'm just going to disable this for now and we'll customize and come back. Here we have the light box. So by default, when you click a photo, it will open and this is what it'll look like. So here we can customize how this looks. So right now it has the photo and we have the information of the photo, the user, the description and comments, and we have arrows that you can click through. You can turn the comments off and here's a different preview of that. It's a little bit cleaner. Or if you don't want them to use Lightbox and you want them to go directly to your Instagram account, for that photo, you can click and disable Lightbox completely. So when you click on this, it'll go to that photo on Instagram. If your goal is to grow your Instagram followers, that might be a better idea. So it takes them to the website directly. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. It's nice and simple and clean. I think the one last thing that I might do is it's a pretty classic look to have no padding in between your photos. So we can change this to zero and you can see how they're touching there. This is under the feed layout here. So once you're happy with everything, let's go ahead and save this. We can go ahead and embed this. 
Here, Smash Balloon is going to give you a short code. Let's go ahead and copy this to clipboard and we can close this. I'm going to come back to the website and here's the page that we want to edit. This is the contact page. Let's come back into the WordPress dashboard. And on the left hand side, I have pages and all pages. And I'm just going to look for the contact us and I'm going to edit with seed prod here. Now seed prod is a drag and drop website builder for WordPress. So we have blocks on the left hand side that you can just simply import into your page. For example, let's say you want to start collecting emails. We have an opt in form here. You can just drop that in and start collecting it, which makes it very simple. Right here, we have a placeholder for the Instagram feed. Let's go ahead and delete this one. And we need the short code block here. So let's just type in short. And here under advanced, we have short code. I'll drag that right here and drop it. We'll click the settings. I'll just simply paste this code that we got from Smash Balloon right here. I'm going to go ahead and save this page and let's go ahead and preview. Let's go to the contact page. And if we scroll to the bottom, we can see the Instagram. And here we can see our feed that we imported into our website. Here you can click left or right and you can see the different photos in a carousel. You can click and drag as well. And it works on mobile, tablet, and all the devices just fine. We set this up so there's no light box. So when you click, it'll actually go directly to the page. The great thing about this is that now that it's imported into the page, you can just customize it into the settings whenever you like. So I can close seed prod, come back to the feeds. And let's say I changed my mind. I do in fact want the light box. Let's click here and I will enable this and let's save this. If we refresh the page. If I come down and click, you can see that it'll enable that Instagram light box right on your website. And there you go. I hope this gave you an idea of how you can include beautiful looking Instagram feeds into your website and how great and seamlessly it works with seed prod. If you found this video helpful, please like it. Consider subscribing for more great videos on how to create beautiful websites and make sure to check out these videos if you're interested in more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.